take season, hopefully season five, closer to present? Are we going to see, are we going to come? Because this war on drugs is never going to end. It's, 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 it's an endless I, I, war. I, I'm, I can neither confirm, confirm nor deny that season <laughs> five. I, I or think whether it, we're, no, is that I, a I no can, comment moment? Can, I can confirm. I get, they, they told me yesterday, I got a call, uh, yeah, in, in a very special phone I have, and they said, if it's a success in India... Yes. We will have. So all right, it's, 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 on, it's on to us. us. Can go. I have That's that true. special phone, please? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I would like to receive some special calls. <laughs> I see what you yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we, we can talk on November 17th. All right. And Diego, going a little off track, last night when we spoke, you told me, uh, you know, you... Drunk, I was drunk. No, before that, I have to ask you guys. Um, <laughs> I have to ask you guys. Um, Wagner Mora, Pedro Pascal, these are characters and and and. You know, that people... <laughs> are you getting worried already? No, I just can't, I can't wait for this question. <laughs> because if you've been asked this question a lot, I get it a lot. Sorry, I have to ask you the, the you know, the cliched comparison question. Because uh, it's true, these are characters that we've literally looked up to, okay, uh, for the past few seasons. And it is, um, it could be a bit uh, nerve-wracking, right, to step into these big, huge humongous shoes. Or are you guys not thinking about it at all, treating this as a, com as a completely different independent show season? Like, it didn't even happen before this. I, to be honest with you, I didn't think about it that way because it, was, um, it wasn't like Pedro Pascal had enough and he's leaving Narcos. And I, you know, then they brought in little old me, you know? Like, <laughs> I, uh, you know, it was a completely different... Uh, you know, and he wasn't, it, it wasn't like he played K Kiki Camarena Correct. first three seasons and then I came in and they're like, wait a minute, what the hell is up with this? Yeah. It's, uh, so it was no pressure. I mean, there, and there was enough work. We were constantly traveling and working and had pages to memorize to be, you know, yeah. nervous about it. Too much to do to be nervous. Okay, then what about you? Uh, no, there's no pressure. I, I mean, believe you. I just got really sick, sorry. <laughs> uh... No, there's no pressure. I mean, you cannot think that way. Otherwise, uh, uh, we wouldn't be doing this job. I mean, obviously, every time you see something, you're comparing that with the last thing you saw. Uh, yeah, that, absolutely, I totally agree and, with you. And, and in fact, I see, it, I, I, I see it differently. Those guys made this show so popular that uh, it's the first time I don't have to worry for people to watch my work. <laughs> that, that worries out of the question, you know, it's like it's gonna come out and they're gonna watch it. Like the first feeling of like the f being a theater actor is to be on your opening night and look out and see no one there. Just well, your parents. This time is not exactly not even my father. <laughs> so this time they're gonna be there, and then I saw it. You know, like it'll be very responsible not to see it, but I saw it, and I am really happy. And I I think these guys left the bar here, and we left it here. And if they, there is a, fi a fifth season, they they're gonna higher, yeah. they're gonna take it higher and higher because the team they put together is amazing. Is amazing, and I have to be very very honest. It's very bold to say, let's start all over again because I don't think this is the fourth season. I this is Narcos Mexico. It's a different it's a different project. Uh, there's new there's new directors. It's a new place. It's a, it's a new cast. Uh, um, yeah, it's everything is different. Uh, so I think they complement each other pretty well. But I don't think you're going to be thinking about the previous seasons when you watch this. I'm sure we won't. And that's amazing. That's really like inspiring. I'm going to take this answer and I'm going to use it next time anybody else asks me this question. Well, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, thank uh, you. Diego. Appreciate Before we much. leave, we have something to say in yeah, Spanish. Yeah, we have something very you embarrassing were, you to say. You were going to say something about right, okay, last okay. night. Okay, but we, you, you, you remember all right, we keys yes. Going a little off track, there's that. something that I got to uh, know about Diego last night. His uh, grandmother was born in India, right? Yeah, I have, I, I have a tell, connection. Tell us about your spiritual connection to India. Oh, no, the spiritual connection is different. Yeah, let's talk about it. He, uh, he Baba, knows he, parts of Gita. He knew about Sai Baba. He spoke about Guruma, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us all about it. No, I don't think so. I mean, that, that, that is something I told you because I had four vodkas inside. Uh, well, we can uh, get you four vodkas right now. I don't, I don't see how this connects to narcos. I, I, I guess I don't want this to be in the same well, article. Spirituality is what we sell here instead of <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> No, it's really Don't put nice. that, you'll get me into trouble. No, we really like that. Uh, it, it made us really happy that you have this connect to India. So it's like, you know, we're a little bit like, oh, you know us? Like, tell us about it. All the know? religious people are going to watch this show because you follow a spiritual leader in India. So talk about it. <laughs> okay, no, Shakur, you can't trouble myself, him anymore. I'm going you understand, right. it's so personal. But, uh, Sorry, but I, yes. can, I can just say that I find so many similarities between the, the the Indian culture and the Mexican culture and yeah, you guys have I rice, we have rice, you have no, beans, we have beans. Exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> be, besides rice besides, besides the rice and curry, uh, there is so much in common. Uh, the contrast you 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 live when you go out, the the and the richness in terms of the cultural diversity is is amazing, and and it feels like being home here, and I think that's why you're gonna love Narcos Mexico. Love it, and waiting Thank for it, guys. and we, Alena, have to say something in Spanish. We have something to say in Spanish, and we're going to do we a We don't know show. if it makes any sense, because we found it on Google Translate. Yeah, so I'm going to try my level best, that I, I, I'm going to just pretend like I know Spanish. So, uh, I say line number one, you say line number two? Yeah, let's okay. try. So, nos vamos a volver locos si. Tenemos que esperar más. Okay, Could you that translate that for us? You win, you win. <laughs> Uh, Did I do like a yes. terrible job? I don't know what you said. Okay. All right, all right. Let me let me try this. Let me okay, try so this. Could you help me? How would I say that? Well, can you repeat what you said? Hey. No, nos no. vamos a volver locos. Nos vamos a volver locos. You gotta look at it and then ah. nos vamos a volver locos. Nos vamos a volver locos. Woo. Tenemos que esperar más. Uh, we're gonna go crazy. Uh, because we gotta wait a little more. Yes, we We're can't wait. We're gonna go crazy if we have to wait any longer. 16th of this month, uh, next, um, Narcos, Mexico. We can't wait. Yeah, we can't wait. Thank you so much. Thank guys. you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.